Author Robert Hardman tells P. Bill that Queen Camilla bring a sort of unstuffiness to the royal family. Without going too far, Queen Camilla has always been supportive of King Charles. Queen Camilla knows the sort of boundaries that King Charles maintains, according to Robert Hardman, author of The Making of a King, King Charles Ayoye, and the modern monarchy, who speaks with people. She wouldn't want to be getting into the king's space with his grandchildren, he continues. She will not exert herself. She's still determined to stick with it. She continues to have her own family. She recognizes the importance of that to him and finds it to be extremely important. According to Hardman, Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, are the three children of Prince William and Kate Middleton, and their doting grandfather is King Charles, 75. He is, in fact, a lot more at Windsor, the home base of the Prince and Princess of Wales, than anyone could have predicted. He typically visits on Thursdays and Fridays. The Wallaces are obviously able to walk to the castle, Hardman remarks. He has never truly been that close to the younger family. There is greater overlap right now. When Prince Louis burst onto his grandfather's lap during the Platinum Jubilee pageant in 2022, it was evident how close King Charles and Prince Louis are. In the most recent BBC documentary, Princess Charlotte was received by the king with a warm embrace during a coronation practice, while Prince George served as the monarch's page of honor. He has, however, hardly ever seen his other two grandkids, Princess Lilibet, two, and Prince Archie, four, who reside in California with their parents, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. As for Queen Camilla, 76, she has two children, Laura Lopes, née Parker Bowles, and Tom Parker Bowles, who together have produced five grandchildren. Tom and his ex-wife Sarah Byes have a son named Freddie Parker Bowles and a daughter named Lola Parker Bowles. With her husband Harry Lopes, Laura has a daughter named Eliza Lopes and twin boys named Gus and Louis Lopes. During the coronation in May, Queen Camilla's three grandsons took center stage as they were named pages of honor. Queen Camilla does bring a sort of unstuffiness to the royal family, according to Hardman. When there are negative headlines, a crisis or anything else, she can laugh about it. She's just a happy person, he remarks. I could see her in a real crisis, I think she'd be a great asset. Yes, Camilla is by Charles's side as he gets ready for his impending surgery to repair an enlarged prostate. Following the announcement by the palace that the king will have a corrective procedure for the benign disease the following week, she provided an update on her spouse on an official outing. Thank you so much, he's all right. Anticipating returning to work, the queen said to a well-wisher. Hardman continues, They're in the sense of someone who is absolutely central to the story, but who is entirely comfortable with being, not quite second fiddle, but there are areas where he's unquestionably in charge, but there are other areas where she can help or take some of the load. Hardman draws a comparison between her and Queen Elizabeth's 73-year husband Prince Philip.